For those familiar with the workshop from Moodle already, there have been quite a lot of changes which you'll find very interesting. For those not so familiar, it's best to quickly explain what the workshop is. The Moodle workshop is a peer assessment activity with many, many options. It allows participants to submit and assess each other's projects in a number of ways. It also coordinates the collection and distribution of these assessments. Now, although in Moodle 1.9 it is disabled by default, it did work, but it just wasn't so simple to use. So what about workshop in Moodle 2? Well, that's a really good question. The usage of the workshop in Moodle 2 is controlled by what stage it is in. Now, there are five stages. There's a setup phase, submission, assessment, grading and evaluation, and closed. Now, during setup, the workshop is viewable but is unusable by students in this phase. In the submission phase, students can see the instructions and can submit their assignments. And teachers, they can allocate the submissions for peer review if that's needed. The assessment phase is what it says. During this phase, students assess the assignments assigned to them. The fourth phase is a teacher-only phase, and teachers review the assignments and the students' assessments, and then they can calculate and override any of the grades provided. Now, once this is all complete, the workshop is closed and grades go into the gradebook. Before I take you through an example workshop, I should point out the three useful features of the workshop and of which, in the example, we'll just use one. So the three are 1. Use examples. Teachers can add examples and users can practice evaluating on the example submissions. 2. Using peer assessment. This is where users can perform peer assessment of others' work. And 3. The use of self-assessment, that users can perform self-assessment of their own work. In our example, we are just going to use peer assessment. Let's have a look at an example workshop very similar to the one on the Moodle 2 QA side. So first, let's look from a student's point of view. Here we have the workshop. We can see the various phases and we can see what the instructions are. But as of yet, we can't actually add anything. So now for the teacher off screen, I go and I start the next phase. Back on here, let's just reload the page. And you can now see that I can start submitting. So let's edit our submission because we haven't submitted anything yet. Okay, so there we have our Limerick. And if I can scroll down here, I have the option to add attachments to it. But in this case, I won't be, so I'll just click Save. Let's go back out to the exercise. And here you can see we're now in submission phase. My work has been submitted and here it is. Now that I've submitted that, as a student I will need to wait until the assignment is given to somebody else for peer review. And the phase has changed to the assessment phase so I can also peer review someone. So now that I've reloaded I can see that the teacher has given me an assignment to assess. So let's click on assess. So this is the limerick that was submitted, and these are the criteria which I have to assess it against. So let's just choose three of them randomly. And as you see, I can save and continue editing, or save and close. So let's close. At this point, all that is left for me to do is to wait for my grade. So once all the students have done their assessment, and the teacher then has gone through phase four, of grade evaluation giving feedback to both the submitter and the assessor, the teacher then closes the workshop and the grade appears. So if we go back out to the course here, we can see now that within the actual workshop, it is closed. Okay, and go back out and have a look at the grades. And we can see here that my Limerick exercise got 80 and got 20 because it was a brilliant poem. And so that's really it from the student point of view. So let's have a look at this from the teacher's point of view. Now, bypassing the creation and the assessment form and all that stuff, here we have the assessment ready to roll. 
Now to enable submissions, the teacher just clicks here to switch the phase into the submission phase. Now once confirmed, the students can now submit. And now that I see items are submitted, we can see down here from Barry and from Joe, the next thing I need to do is to allocate those submissions. So I click on Allocate Submissions. And for Barry, I'm going to set Joe to be his reviewer. So let's just do that. And for Joe, let's set Barry. And so now both have been successfully allocated. We can go back out to the exercise. So at this point, I need to move it to the assessment phase so the students can actually do the assessment. So let's click on assessment phase and confirm that. And down here you can see the unallocated results while we wait for assessment. Now that the students have assessed, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reload this page so we can see their assessments. So now we can see down here there has been an assessment. One is of zero, one is of 80. So let's move into the grading and evaluation phase. Now this is the phase where a teacher can come down here and make decisions on each of the submissions and the assessments. And go in and have a look at the entry, look at the score and the feedback. Or look at the actual reviewer and see what, what they did. So you got a five here, all matching correctly, yes, and give some feedback. So great, fair feedback. Now, once the teacher has checked all of the entries, then the teacher has just to recalculate the grades if they've made any changes. And at this point, they can close. Now, what happens when it closes? Well, the key thing is that here, it pushes the calculated grades into the gradebook. And then the workshops can see their work and any of the assessment. And so that's it from the teacher point of view. So there we have it, the new workshop activity in Moodle 2. Quite a lot in there, and I'm sure this activity will be heavily used. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel for more review videos.